Okay, one of my viewers asked a very smart question that I totally agree with. I hadn't given it any thought. And it's worth passing on and saving Buck and Red Rider shooters a lot of pain and heartache. This will ward off the horrible trigger jam that comes usually within the first magazine of BB. So this is 400 shots in here. And his solution is very simple. So, okay, so the Daisy 25 has an open slit right here that the lever of, let's say, my Super Buck is there. There's no open spot there. So what we wanna do, we're gonna go ahead and take this off. And the reason we're gonna take this off, I'm gonna show you, is because we're gonna show you a super easy way to ward off a jam. Remember, always nut first, so you don't strip out your screw. And then, okay, we're gonna just take off one nut, one screw, take off your lever. And this fix, or preventive measure, is so simple, I didn't really think about that. So let's go over this. And so, one nut, one screw, remove your lever. Okay, let me get a spotlight in there. Okay. So, I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to take a look at that. So, we get really zoomed in. Okay, so that right there that you see that I have the light on is the back of your plunger. Okay, that contacts your trigger sear. Some people will call it catch point, some people will call it a tooth. And what that does is that is the part that many times will give you a solid sticking jam. And it usually happens when the gun is brand new. So instead of taking apart, honestly, the trigger in the stock, I just put out a recent video with a modern buck with this one. So instead of taking off the stock and the trigger, which is more work, and I have to be honest, I'm not trying to be negative, is that people could potentially still screw that up because of the anti-bear trap arm. Because this is not as simple as the old old Red Rider and old buck that uh, did not have that. So what we want to do is keep your gun from jamming. Because, again, I'm just being realistic. Most people who suffer a trigger jam, and there's all types of theories about what causes it, is that I know I suffered a solid sear stick for sure. The gun would not release that spring and there was no play. No play meaning there was nothing going on, solid stand jam. So we want to get on that part right there, you see the small distance there. We want to get oil on there. And the best way to do this is with the ballast stall. You can get that at your local gun shop. You shouldn't have a problem finding that. And so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate and do it. So the ballast stall is great because you can target that spot, that spot I showed you. Okay. So that's, there is nothing else we're trying to target and any excess oil will just, will just bleed off. So that spot right there, let's take one more look at it. That's what your target is. And you just had to just remove one, one nut, one screw, and we're going to get that spot now. Okay. So, let me, okay, there we go. About one and a half zoom. Okay. So what we're looking to do is get in there and you, you aim for that. And it's towards the top right here. You aim for it. And if you have the straw for this, that's fine. But you aim for it and just give it a squirt. Now, in that case, I got some on the outside too. But there's, ooh, I got plenty on the inside. And so what that does, that gets on the top of your trigger sear. On your, yes, on the sear that catches that. And that will keep away a jam. So then we just put your gun back together. And... I didn't think of something like that for this for this model just because you know ideally you want to um, ideally in an ideal world you want to get the whole the whole trigger but okay so now we're just go ahead and put this back together and the thing is is that I just would love to come up with something simple especially for the younger shooters Okay. that keeps you from losing your gun. I can't emphasize enough that uh, I've been getting more contacts by 10 and 12 year olds after they've already taken off this stock, taken out that screw, which is a fatal mistake when their gun is jammed, and then the trigger gets sucked inside. 
okay and most people aren't going to clear that and most young shooters really aren't going to clear that okay then we get out your loctite your permatex okay and i'm okay so i'll just go through most you put some on there you obviously dab that blue stuff on there i'll do that off camera so i move it a good clip here and then get your nut back on here and so the thing about this is that you just do that you just do that till it's just tight. You don't want to take the paint off your gun just tight and then leave it alone for a the day or so. Okay, and that's it. So by just simply, as a, a smart viewer said, by just removing the lever and spraying in there like uh, you can do easily with the Daisy 25. Now that's going to get on your pistons here. Now shoot your gun right away. I'm about to shoot it right now. And so in fact, yeah, so go ahead and cock it all the way up. And yep and shoot it and work that on there and good to go